This is the Duck there bringing you a second troop ship mission. This one in September, and I expect the resistance to be significantly higher. It's also on one of the harder, I mean, there are only two maps for the troop ships, but I think this map is harder. So, uh, the plan is going to be more or less the same. We're going to camp the LZ and try to take out some patrols. After that, moving into the command center is a good idea. This place offers plenty of good cover, fallback points, line of sight points. You can get onto the roof. Like, this area is really good. We'll take the command pod, I mean, the command center, and kill another, you know, four or five pods. And then, hopefully, we only have the command pod and maybe one pod left to deal with after that. For now, though, the plan is very simple. We will bunker ourselves in this area, and I'm not gonna budge. I also brought my best soldiers for fairly obvious reasons. So, on my way. Let's get my troops positioned. Copy that. Also, have some pulse weapons online. That's really good. Alright, now it's time to camp. Cyberdisc, I'm sure there are mechdoids, there are probably uh, berserkers and also sectoid commanders. Yeah, I hear lots of mutons. Not too much to be done at this point. Just gonna have to see what goes on. Okay, pod of five mutons, that's it? That's kind of like a pathetically small group for this stage of the game. And they've bunched themselves up suicidally. So, okay. I mean, this is as favorable as an outcome. We want to be very careful about not triggering a second pod. Man, that's going to end up with a lot of dead aliens here. Ooh. Okay. Now, they have grenades, but it scarcely matters after I alpha strike them. There's not going to be much they can do. Aye, aye. I only brought one dense smoke. Let's see. 68% isn't great, but somehow my meta hit. Good yeah. for her. Good for her. That's very good. Okay. You have hollow targeting. That's also very good. I can also suppress one with you. I'm pretty sure moving here will give my gunner line of sight still. Excellent. It actually improves his line of sight. Less to be expected. Damn it. Enemy is still alive. Hmm. Probably should have used hollow targeting first. Yeah, yeah, that's a big mistake. Turns out it didn't really cost me, but still. Pulse Den Gun should be able to kill this in one hit. If not, it's not a big deal. Okay, this is working out really, really well. Okay. No problem. I'm just gonna suppress this one so he can't do anything. And we'll finish him off at my leisure next turn. Man, AI 
is taking its wild too many pods. There are eight pods, one command pod. It looks like each pod is five, which I think means this is actually not an ambush. Wow, nice. Managed to hit me despite being suppressed. It's not really a shock. He has a height advantage. Um, right? He should have a height advantage. Elevated ground, right? So, but it doesn't matter. Sentinel drone. The Sentinel drone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, getting super excited. Sentinel drone will win me uh, the game because all you have to do with Sentinel drone is just wait for the ship to repair itself. And that's exactly what I do. Don't worry about meld on this type of mission. There's absolutely no point to even think about the meld. Unless the meld is literally like, um, with me, uh, somewhere in the LZ where I can reach in turn one. Only 54%? Huh. It's too far away to get the officer bonus. Let me see, is this that, yeah, this is that, um, this is that sniper that got critically wounded. It's my own fault for bringing her, but what can you do? Alright, we're just gonna wait at this point. Gonna wait for another patrol, um, at least until the shiv finishes repairing. the left is also a good place to go. We'll see. Any event. I'm on the move. Gonna reposition my soldiers and wait patiently. I mean Sentinel drone is clearly OP. I don't understand why nobody else has reported this because infinite healing um is just too good. Note that I didn't bring an arc thrower on my engineer. Captures are not a priority. The priority is to beat this map and collect the gazillion amount of Illyrium and alloys and the power sources and the flight computers and all that good stuff. There is no other priority. Floaters. Could be heavy floaters, actually. That'd be a problem. Lots of mutants. It's okay. Don't even think about the meld. Just gonna move out. See what happens. Nothing. Okay. Position confirmed. Copy that. Let's see. Nah, this position's no good. Ten four. Eh, there's no reason to budge from here yet. Oh yeah. Mm. Double time. Will to survive infantry plus a Goliath shiv is great for soaking up explosions. People, uh, aliens and whatnot will throw grenades, but you're not going to be bothered by it at all, Ooh. since both your infantry and your shiv are very. Uh, Resistant to small amounts of damage. Yeah, both have great DR. So it's the best strategy to soak up grenades. Now that the shiv has healed itself, I'll probably think about pushing out. Move up to this area, and then we'll see what happens from there. I have exactly one dense smoke, which is kind of a problem. This is why having one of those engineers with the smoke master, as I like to call them. Maybe we should call them grenade master. Smoke master doesn't make any sense since he throws all sorts of other grenades. But yeah, you can have two dense smoke at this point. Um, two of these, three, I mean three of these and three of these. Like that's just crazy good. So...
that's definitely the way to go. I think a patrol should come by here sooner or later. So I'm just gonna wait here to ambush them. I'm rolling. You don't have will to survive yet. I couldn't field one of my very best squads. This is like a pretty good squad, but too many of my soldiers are out of commission right now, unfortunately. I am sure a pod will patrol by this position eventually. I'll wait like five turns and see if anything happens. Pretty sure though. Being able to ambush another pod would be great and then I'll move up to the command center. I mean this ground is not the most advantageous but I would prefer to be able to ambush someone. So I'm just gonna pause the video while I overwatch here over and over again for like 10 turns. Alright, even my patience is starting to wear a little thin. This is probably a mistake to move up so quickly, but I've been sitting here overwatching over and over again and nothing's happened. We can get behind this high cover. There's an alloy shield to provide additional cover. So I think I just gotta do it. Time to motor. Start shifting my troops into the most advantageous position on this map. Heading to that location. Mm. Good copy, moving on target. Fortunately, there's no good place for the sniper to go. Or the Rocketeer, okay. at least yet. I'll secure the flanks and then decide what to do. Interesting, there aren't that many robots. I don't hear any mechtoids, but sometimes you don't hear like certain pods. Don't want to go there because that might reveal something. Instead, let's move a reasonable distance. Right here is good. Affirmative. Heading to that location. Time to motor. Need more time to set up anyway. Running. Lots of time to set Running. up. Now that I've gotten everybody here, the first step is to clear the command center. But, I want to make sure to do that very slowly and Overwatch. patiently. Going too fast would be a grave mistake. I don't think we're alone out here. It's obviously something nearby, but... I mean, I know there are six more pods, plus the command pods, or seven more pods. Command pod may be here. I've never seen it on this map, but uh, you never know. You never know. Copy that. Heading there now. Aye, aye, Commander. Running. Leave 
this scout to scout. Rolling out. And then bring the ship up. I would prefer to breach from two points, but I'm not sure that's possible because I heard something. And it's okay, like, I'll have such an overwhelming amount of firepower suppression that I should be able to handle what's ever gonna be in there. I'm gonna hide you since I don't want to reveal anything. Next, we'll position my breach team for the assault. Heading out. Okay. Steady aim. Steady aim. You can't steady aim, but that's okay. Steady aim. Come here, son. Yeah, I'll keep watch. I feel, Commander. Alright. What was that? Always be extra careful. Every pod I take down is a win. Remember that. The room is clear! Beautiful! This is the best possible news. Because this area... Next, we'll move to secure this entrance and then potentially start shifting some troops up onto the high ground. So... Um, now that we know the room is clear, it's perfectly safe to dash. Rocketeer, where should I put him? Hmm. I think he needs to go on the corners. You can't put him here. It's, you can't shoot. This is too dangerous to hide behind since if he gets hit by plasma and explode and kill your soldier. This actually looks like a pretty good position. Moving to designated position. There. I should move these guys first. Whoops. Be very careful. I'm on it, Commander. Very, very careful. On the move. Got it. Moving. Two fast movers are good to put on the roof. I'm on it, Commander. First, and then the sniper, of course, is right, great. Commander. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Mm, yeah, I'll start shifting you in. Okay, this part where I reposition everyone, and unless they, uh, aliens barge through one of these doors, which is possible, but they still can't shoot at me. Um, so, this part is like safe, and I would just pause the video while I reposition everyone. Alright, this mission is pretty tough. Normally by now, I've taken out more pods, but this is such a favorable position that um, I'll be okay. Ish. I think the best course of action now is definitely to wait here. I'm not gonna reveal this and just like Overwatch over and over again. Roof would be nice to get to. There is a cyber disc out there. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Shift at least one soldier up there to keep a lookout. I might start shifting my sniper. Maybe. Got it covered. Excuse me. Alright, the plan now is simple. Just gonna park all my soldiers here and overwatch till the cows come home. And then probably overwatch some more. That's affirmative. Affirmative. Covering now. Overwatch. Aye aye. It must on overwatch. I'm on it. 
sooner or later, something must patrol by this position. I've had this happen enough times on this map that I'm not budging from here until I've taken out several more pods. Something will come sooner or later. There we go. See? As expected. Floaters. Floaters are a problem. I don't want to fight them on the roof. So, down I go. I wonder if I can get line of sight from here. Probably not, but there's no other good place to put the sniper, unfortunately. I'll test this and see what happens. Hey, Roger that. Scan. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Roger that. I'm on it. All right. The floater should aggro next turn. And I'll just gun them all down. Yes, I get it. There. Where where are you floaters? Come on. Come on. I'm not budging from this position, Thriller, so you might as well come and save me the trouble of, you know, all these turns spent on Overwatch, where nothing happens. Oh, come on, you can't just be, like, patrolling back and forth down there. That would be a problem. It's still not a huge problem. I can always move someone out to aggro them, but that might aggro more than one group. I would prefer not to do that, if at all possible. Oh, they, they probably are just patrolling back and forth down there. Damn. Oh. This next turn should tell me for sure. I don't think we're alone out here. Yeah, this is a problem. Okay, they're patrolling back and forth down there. Hmm. I can always move the shiv out, but then one of my soldiers won't have, like, optimal cover, and I hate that. With a passion. Probably don't need the rocketeers to take down these floaters. Ugh. That's affirmative. Moving out. Alright. We're gonna wait for them to go back there. Then we're probably gonna use the shiv to aggro them. There's not too much else to do. I know If the floaters repeat their pattern, which I sort of confirm, it's probably better to steady aim everyone. Heading there now. Roger that. Scanning. I feel it, Commander. Groups of five. This is not an ambush, I don't think. What was that sound? So seven times five, or eight times five is forty. Eh, it's not that many. Okay, let's aggro the floaters. We may need to smoke. There is a heavy floater, I was right. Damn. Well, this is not good. Heavy floaters have heat ammo, by the way. Which is super, super nasty. Um. Yeah, I definitely think my best course of action is to withdraw an overwatch. Moving to position. Floaters with their 
stupid aim or problem. See what the floaters do. If they move one by one out into the kill zone, they will all die pretty soon. Bye -bye. One down. Adjusting sights. The heavy floater is by far the most dangerous. The other targets are secondary. Damn, I was right, the sniper can't get a shot. This one is probably closer, that's why I'm getting 72%. Hmm. Okay, that's not good. Target's still up. I do have double tap on this soldier. Excellent. Worry, none of these positions have sufficient amount of cover. I would love to use hollow targeting. I just don't realistically see how. Without exposing the shiv. Does anybody here have tactical sense? No? Damn. I have low profile. It's not a bad idea, actually. I'm gonna keep you here okay. as a lookout. Ah, ha! Huh. So, sneaky, sneaky floater, huh? Alright, little floater. Will do. Aye, aye, Commander. Probably suppress that floater, honestly. If I don't kill it. No way that just happened. Watch you. We're green to go. Reload you. The leader is still out there. That one could have heat ammo which would devastate my shiv, but. It's okay, the shiv can heal. Come on. Time to move. Patience. Play the Overwatch game. Dead and gone. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. I would love to move someone out there, but. I think I'm just gonna stay put. It's the safest option. See if I failed. Headed there now. I doubt I get sight range from here yet. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm on it. On Overwatch. Let's rock. Patience. I shot now because I want that floater to move. I need to wait for the last floater to come back. Where's the heavy floater? Come on. There we go. No way that just happened. It's running. Not too much to be done. I'm not budging from this position. So 
Do you want to run? That's perfectly fine with me. I'm just going to stay put and overwatch everyone over and over again as is usual. I think I'll move out the ship this time. I'm gonna pause the video since I'm just gonna be overwatching at this position over and over again. I affirmative. All right, that heavy floater has wandered itself into a terrible position. So I am just gonna shoot it with my sniper. Yeah, a hundred percent, the best percent. These heavy floaters are very nasty. They have great defenses. Um, base 10 defense, they often, some of them come with tactical sense, damn good ground, like I think the defense on the heavy floaters is too much. I don't mind the health, but the defense really is, though, crazy. There is one more out there, so this is not a safe position to be. I heard exalt, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, exalt's on the troop ship. That should be interesting. Uh, and there's one more like regular floater out there. That one's not so bad. Hmm. My new plan at this point, there's only one regular floater, I'm not super concerned about it. My new plan is this. We're gonna start moving out a bit, but the goal is to draw the aliens forward to this position where I can slaughter them with um, good cover and there's not too much they can do about it. So I'm going to start repositioning some of my forces a bit. Also, in theory, you get on the roof, but I'm not convinced that's necessarily always the best way to go. I would have to get on both roofs and... I don't know, I prefer fighting from the high cover here and just taking it very slowly. Anyway, going to pause the video while I redeploy. Oh, things just got real. A group of Exalt um, bunched themselves up over there. And now I have like a great firing position. I do want to be able to throw a battle scanner out though. So I might be able to get some pot shots Those off with my sniper. Let's see. It's not like a huge deal if I can't get the one shot off. It looks like I just don't have the right position. Not a big deal. I don't know where that last floater is. You could come out and flank me, but this position is so favorable. I'm just gonna overwatch and let my best soldiers do their jobs. Bring my officer up to buff the will. Like, the Exalt should come forward and I'll just kill them in that little ravine there. If they try to flank from the left or right, I'll have sentries to look out and redeploy to kill them. They might try to come from the left or right. There were... this is a pot of five. position is so favorable. Just wait patiently. One down. Affirmative. Covering now. Several more to go. I always like to reload so I can have a good number of shots. You never know. You never know when that may come in use. Let's keep up the flank protection. No sense in getting surprised. Oh, the Cyberdisc has come now. Two of them. This is interesting. It's very unfortunate. Adjusting aim. I think he blew up the plasma thing. Okay. Berserker Swarm, now they've decided to all come at once. This is a problem. I can take like one group or two, but I can't take three groups at once. Although that group seems like a little bugged. It's a floater mutant berserker group that got separated, teleport bug or something. 
Okay, okay. There's a squatch out sniper out there. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's fine. Well, this is a problem. Oh, that's so favorable! This is so favorable! This is my best opportunity to kill the Cyberdis. But what am I gonna do about the Berserker? I'm not gonna have another opportunity like this to kill the Cyber Discs. My fear is the Berserker will do the cover destroying charge more than anything else. Well, it's not really gonna bother to shiv much. I can always smoke grenade this position. I mean, now's as good a time as any. I really have to think about this. There is no better opportunity to kill that group down there. But what am I gonna do about the Berserker? There are any clever tricks I can pull. Actually, there is one trick I can pull. Oh, but I don't know if I'll hit. There's also that floater out there. I mean, there is literally no better opportunity to kill these units. That they do have to die now. The Exalt Heavy, um, which I can kill basically with 100% reliability. The two Cyber Discs. Um, just trying to think, how do I deal with the Berserker? If only I had Chitin plating! Then it's really easy, just run up and let the Berserker whack you. You won't die. You'll be in the hospital for like a month, but that's perfectly acceptable. And, and frankly, if he whacks one of my soldiers here, they probably s some of them have enough health to survive. There is an alternative, let's see. If I can kill off at least one of the Cyber Discs, I can move the Alloy Shiv out and just let the Berserker, you know, go ahead and attack it. Whatever, the Shiv will live. But then my Sniper won't have cover, which is bad. Damn, that doesn't work. Well, the Sniper can always sort of snapshot. <sighs> the trick I'm thinking of is this. Chem grenade him, and then like, run down here throw a grenade and the berserker should come like charging over um which is honestly at this point probably my best plan it's my only plan really i think i'm not 100 percent sure on how that ch cover destruction charge works but i'm pretty sure the berserker has to be actually between the cover and the target soldier. So in other words, if I kite the Berserker to this position, he should not be able to charge over there. I'm only like 80% sure. Obviously we can't hide here since he can destroy the cover. I also don't know exactly like, can he charge through like this much cover? Probably. He could probably like position himself here and then it counts. I don't know. I don't know enough about how that charge attack works. I just know that if you get hit, you die. It does a tr crazy amount of damage. Okay, I don't think I have any choice but to try to kite the Berserker. I just like, because I have to take out this group right now. I really hope I don't regret this. Ready for the fireworks? Excellent. Even took out the Seeker. Oh no, I didn't take it out, but whatever, it's almost dead. 
100%, that's a really good shot. <laughs> Boy. Um, let me see. This cyber disc, repair servos, damage control, automated threats, bombard. Well, what's the other cyber disc? Just bombard. Well, there's a chance that the leader cyber, di uh, cyber disc could flee. That's really good. I gotta take this. Beautiful! One shot, one kill. Oh yeah. And it even damaged the other aliens. Oh man, this is so beautiful. That's okay. Thing is irrelevant. I need you. Exalt heavy is a problem. I'm just gonna make you do what you're best at killing cyber discs. Tremendous. Okay. Oh, look at that damage. Okay, that was really, really good. Really good. We're not out of the woods yet. That thing can flank me next turn. What's my percent shot with this? Eh. I have no choice. The scout may actually die from like some other things, but what choice do I have? Good. And then I can't think of any other trick to pull. It has to be this. And I can't stand in cover. Affirmative. Going out. And I need to guarantee a hit. Now, I am not 100% sure about this. I'm pretty sure the Berserker can't like reach hearing one move, but um, the critical thing is to prevent the Berserker from... Can I kill it? If I crit, yes, but there's no guarantee. It's too risky. Let's say I shoot it. I have enough will from the officer. Then I have to follow it up with sawed off. How much health does this thing have? 17. If I do like 10 damage, I, I mean, okay, reasonably I can expect like 6 or 7 damage. That leaves 10 damage to be dealt, which I don't think is possible to do it consistently. Yes, better not risk it. I also better hide my officer like over here. I just gotta pray I'm right about how the bull rush thing works. What if I were to switch to laser pistol? Same thing. Okay. Aw. Definitely would rather kill it this turn, since it could flank my scout. See in hell. Got it. Move it. I pray I'm right about how the Berserker charge works. Irrelevant. Oh, I was wrong! The Berserker can reach him. But he lived! Somehow my Rocketeer lived! It's a miracle!
another group of floaters and a heavy floater? Oh boy, this is interesting. Um, well, the Berserker obviously has to die this turn. No questions. But my Rocketeer lived? How? How is that possible? They're all kind of like far, far away. Is that thing on Overwatch? Yes. Uh, I don't like that. This seems as good of a time as any for smoke. Especially since Berserker is going to die. Better apply hollow targeting first. Roger that. So drifts 57 will panic resist is pretty good. Obviously, I want to heal you, but I can't quite dash you there. Damn. You have snapshot. I would probably do want to reposition you. Uh, I would prefer to move you here. I could smoke. Wait. I can he move up, heal, smoke. Right. Um. There's that Overwatch. Pesky, pesky Overwatch. Oh, okay, okay. I am not in line of sight of the floater. It's perfectly safe to move here. Heading out. Beautiful. Okay. Let's make the obvious moves first. Yeah, paramedic. Quit your bitching. I don't know how you survived, Rocketeer. You are a hero. Eighty-five. Eh, it's okay, I guess. Oh, there are two overwatches? Oh, the two floaters stacked together. It almost looked like a double shot. Huh. Hmm. Oh, he destroyed some cover. Damn. Yeah, well. Copy that. Gonna have to redeploy now. Excellent. Need a resupply. is mostly an irrelevant enemy. Good to go. We're green to go. In the vehicle. I like to pin some of these floaters in position. Yeah. Damn. Well, at least I got something on Overwatch, but that wasn't really the plan. With smoke, I am safe from everything except for the grenade on the heavy floater. There are also some other enemies in the back. Ah, yes, the exalt. Some more floaters and two mutons. They might be coming from the right. I need to have uh, flank protection now. Okay, that's it. I can handle this. Shot failed to connect. Okay. I got need.
Excellent. Adjusting sights. I hate taking these low percentage shots, but not too much to be done. Good to go. Probably should have healed this soldier again. It's overhealing, but that's okay. Yes. But I might need the rocket. Hmm, on the other hand, the soldier is easily like outflanked. I don't like that either. Ready to engage. Yes, Commander. Actually. Roger, tracking. Let's do this. Uh, Move to Overwatch. I want to keep that floater pinned. Okay, heavy floater. That's the primary target. Don't grenade, don't grenade. Okay, that's perfectly acceptable. Okay, you can keep beating up on my shiv, I don't really care, the shiv will survive. Definitely gonna suppress it if these shots miss, which they probably will. Huh? How about that? Not bad. Not bad at all. Out of ammo here. Uh, flush is not likely to kill it. This would be patient. Blasting that target. Burning through ammo fast. Overwatch to pin that floater in. Oh yeah. Reload. Okay. This oh, it's gonna hurt. I need to keep a lookout on this flank. I can deal with the heavy floater next turn. It's gonna die sooner or later. Whoa! Okay, okay. That was a good move by Exalt, Squash Sight Sniper. Although, thankfully, the floater is derping out pretty hard. I see. Okay, this works. Definitely would prefer to have hollow targeting. Yeah, so I think it's worth it to try to kill this heavy floater now. Have two chances. Excellent. Kill confirmed. If I take out this floater, should remove some squad site. Now all they can see is this one. Which is fine. If the Exalt Sniper wants to keep shooting at my shiv, I could care less. Power of paramedic. You run up, you heal. Nothing's broken. You're fine. You hide. To position. Officers here just to give buffs. The damage is pretty much irrelevant. They want to keep shooting at the shiv. Okay, I'm not gonna complain. That's the po 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 that's the whole purpose of the shiv. Uh, 43. It's not great, but understood. Moving out. Yeah, I didn't think I would have sight. Do I want this thing to move forward or run? Hmm. It's probably just gonna shoot at the shiv again. Might as well. Start attacking it. Might get lucky. Oh 
Shot wide. I feel better. <laughs> It might run because I killed off most of its po most of the pod. Okay, there are two exhausts down there plus a sniper. That's right. Okay, go ahead, keep shooting at the shiv. I don't care. I can't really do anything to the shiv. On my way. Heading there now. Alright, another floater down. I'm pretty sure the rest of them don't have vision, so... Just gonna wait here patiently until they come forward and die. This is... This is pretty intense. Roger, you got my eyes on. Let's do this. I feel commanded. Now the shiv has healed itself back up to full again. Oh, there's a muton. Don't forget, there were two mutons I counted with that uh, group. The uh, let's see, the uh, berserker group that somehow like bugged. I'm about to start keeping score. I'm gonna just hide the shiv here now. Wait for more of them to come. There's absolutely no reason, in my opinion, to move out. I feel, Commander. Back in. Okay, there's a floater trying to come from the right. That's why I have some troops spotting on the flanks, just in case. <laughs> 